Again, the only area that I'm not completely clear on where it would be nice to get some clarification because there's a clear change is Hey guys, Dr. Gary here. So you guys often ask me to do some celebrity type of assessments and tell you what I think they had done. And honestly, not my favorite thing to do, but I'm happy to do some of them for you guys. So let's try Kelly Osborne. I used to actually watch that show, The Osbournes. I, you know, looking back, I'm like, why did I? Why did I spend time on that? But I mean, it was entertaining and I, I don't know, I was pretty young when it, when it was out. But I did watch that show and I always found her personality very bubbly and seems like a, a kind person. She's gone through this kind of transformation over the last year or so. The biggest thing is that it looks like she's lost a ton of weight and you know, that's great. You know, it seems like she really worked hard at that and, and that's really good. So I'm going to go through some of the changes that I see with the face because that's the focus of what I do. It's my practice. Is a surgical facial work so let's go through that so you're seeing quite a bit of a change but the biggest change in my opinion is the reduced weight and that's really sort of thinned out the face quite a bit and has given her more definition along the jawline because of the submental area that has had some reduced fat deposits there she's also in the mid face has gotten more kind of sculpted and a lot of that comes from the weight loss there's also a difference of course in the makeup which changes kind of how you you can see things. The way I like to do this is to kind of start from the top and go down. And remember, these are like individual snapshots. I don't have like full on videos of before and after looking at dynamic movement. And that's important to figure out things like Botox and other types of potential surgeries or procedures that someone may have had. But looking at her forehead, it looks like it's pretty much unchanged. Who knows, maybe she's getting some Botox into, into the forehead, but at least in this static image, it doesn't look like she started with any significant wrinkling and she's, you know, she's young and she's kind of at the same general place when it comes to the forehead in my opinion. Looking at the eyebrows it looks like they've gotten fuller and that could be, I doubt she's had an eyebrow hair transplant, but I think that there's some maybe microblading going on, maybe just makeup accounting for that, but you can see that the arch of the brow is a little bit more exaggerated especially on the left side, so again it could just be something as simple as, as makeup creating that change. The other option would have been maybe she's had some filler to the brow area Area, causing it to elevate more or there's been a trend in thread lifting to give you some lateral brow elevation that kind of fox eyed look so she kind of has something like that going on because compared to her before the tail of the brow looks like it's at a higher level than the head of the brow which is the medial aspect so that compared to her before image is different so something has to kind of account for that in terms of the eyes the upper eyelids to me look similar I will say that though that I'm seeing a little bit more hollowing of the upper eyelid and that might suggest that she's had something like an upper blepharoplasty. It could be totally off but I am seeing some additional hollowing and sometimes that happens from lifting the brow. So if she's had a brow lifting procedure that could also create that additional hollowing but if you look the amount of even the, the amount of makeup that's laying there on the supratarsal area which is like where you know women put their makeup for the upper lid that is it's a wider kind of has a higher height there and something has to kind of account for that so could have been a brow lift now that I'm looking again I am seeing that both brows just seem lifted so I feel like maybe there was a brow lift procedure and that would have opened up that area a bit more the nose to me looks very similar I don't think that that's really changed much when I look at the cheeks I think there's more contouring going on could be makeup but it could also be filler along the lateral cheeks there giving you that additional sort of hollowed area underneath the cheekbone that I think may have been augmented and then the lips to me look fuller so it looks to me like she's had some lip filler placed into the upper and the lower lip because when I look at the balance of her lips in the before image they just look like they're in better proportion to me now the bottom lip is almost too heavy from the filler in my opinion so that's something and then the chin to me looks like her old chin she had a pretty solid kind of prominent chin structure and that looks similar and then she also had a fairly kind of boxy jawline and that looks again kind of similar maybe if anything she's had maybe even an additional augmentation to the gonial angle or this area here by the jawline so maybe that there was some filler in the upper cheek maybe also into the jawline or just again as she's lost that weight the jawline has just gotten more defined on its own which is also a real possibility in my opinion 
opinion, the biggest change has been actually the, the brow area and the amount of supratarsal shell, which is that area of the upper eyelid. And so there's a quote here that I found where Kelly Osborne on, I think this was Instagram said, I want to make something very clear. I'm not a liar. I've never had plastic surgery, at least not yet. The only thing I've had done is a bit of Botox in my forehead and jaw. So forehead okay fine we're not seeing that in the before and after images because it's just static right but maybe when she actually animates and moves the brows maybe the forehead is less wrinkly again i'd have to kind of see that in dynamic motion but that's fair you know she may have had that and then when she says botox into the jaw some people just call every injectable botox i'm sure she's specifically referring to botox because i'm sure she's educated in that subject but there are folks who just say botox for everything even if they mean to say well i had botox here and then fill it here so that part I'm not sure on but if she did have Botox to the jaw what that likely means is to the masseter muscles because like I said she's fairly boxy in her before and that was partly probably weight but also the masseter muscles can give you that additional lateralization or extension to your lower jaw well, by putting Botox into there you can get a reduction a slimming effect to your lower face which which can be a nice impact and now that I'm looking at things again I do think that that's what she's referring to and I see that effect on her kind of more recent after image. And I did an article with BuzzFeed on this exact topic on masseter lower face Botox injection. So we'll put that up, make sure to check that out. And she said, I also had my top lip injected. That's it. So to me, it looks like it was probably top and bottom, but yeah, it does look like she had some lip filler. So again, the only area that I'm not completely clear on where it'd be nice to get some clarification because there's a clear change is the brows and that whole area with the upper eyelid so I'd love to know more from her on that area but otherwise I think she's you know telling the truth and just lost a lot of weight so that's my overall assessment of Kelly Osborne's facial transformation as she's kind of transformed her whole body yeah hopefully you guys found that useful make sure to like the video and please subscribe to the channel for more great footage see ya